Hello and welcome to Towson Today. I'm your host, Eric Looney. Today we're sitting down with Towson University student and producer Rachel Roth to talk about her web series, Bait and Switch. Thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Why don't you start by telling us what Bait and Switch is all about? Bait and Switch is actually about two super villainesses turned anti-hero as the series progresses on. Um, both, both women have gone through their struggles but have come to this realization that this is what they need and this is who they're going to be. Um, through a series of events in their lives coming to this point to become bait and switch. That sounds fascinating. Where did the idea of bait and switch come from? Um, the idea is actually pretty funny. It comes from Dr. Horrible. There's a throwaway line that Neil, Patrick's, Neil Patrick Harris's character, Dr. Horrible, says, uh, he says, um, he says, uh, I thought you were going on a date with bait and switch, and I thought that was the coolest line ever because it was like, Oh wow, bait and switch is characters. That would be amazing. What if you actually saw these guys as characters and fleshed out? And I was like, wow, I just want to make them. So I did. <laughs> All right, well, now that we know what the series is about, let's talk about the characters. We'll start with Switch. What can you tell us about her? Switch is a hard on the outside kind of character. She's kind of soft on the inside. She lost her twin brother at a very young age, so she's had to grow up without her twin brother. And um, she also happens to be a lesbian. And I say that only because it is an important fact in the plot because her ex-girlfriend was the original bait in Bait and Switch. And um, with that, the reason she left Bait and Switch is because she became a hero. So she's now known as Captain X. And um, yes, Bait and Switch do have to fight her. Um, hmm. So that's always a nice little twist to that's things. That's a know. perfect holier than thou ex Exactly, right? <laughs> so. Well, what about her partner in crime, Bate? What can you tell us about her? Um, Bate also kind of has a tragic story behind her. She uh, loses her fiance in a heroic superhero battle, even though he wasn't like a superhero or anything. He was just a bystander. A big chunk of rock from one of the buildings where a superhero no. bams into basically falls on his car. Oh. So she loses her fiance and is totally beside herself and she needs something to fill that void so she starts stealing primarily because of the rush and uh, she first starts out as the chameleon so you know she basically is you know feeding these different people trying to lure people out and then she goes back in and steals stuff and that's how she actually meets switch is through a heist so she became the new bait that way so all right well for people who are interested in watching the series where can they go they can go to um, our Facebook page, which is Bait and Switch, or it's, excuse me, it's Facebook slash, uh, Facebook slash Bait and Switch, the web series. And um, they can also go to our YouTube channel, which they have to look for our uh, production company, which is Stumblebound Pictures. And uh, on that YouTube web on our YouTube account, we have Bates Blogs, um, which is my character. So I'm, I'm you know, talking about uh, different uh, comic books, board games, anything that has to do with comics. and it's, it's So your, your super villain is a comic book fan. Yes, she, she's, <laughs> she's a comic book fan. And we also have one more series hopefully coming, um, which is People of Monteceros, the city from where they're from. And it's going to be, um, we have someone interviewing all these people in the city about whether or not what they think about the mm. superhero, super villain situation in Monteceros. So. All right, well, what can we expect in the near future from Bait and Switch? Um, well, we do have a season two coming up, and uh, we're actually starting that next month. And um, the series should hopefully be out, fingers crossed, next month. But it's been such a whirlwind when there's stuff going on with our editor, and um, we wound up starting late and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, to no fault of our own, we actually wound up losing uh, our, our lead actress. So. Well, the good news about that is, uh, is when people find it then they'll be expecting it more, not beforehand. Exactly right. Uh, <laughs> uh, what can you tell us about the world that this series is set in? It sounds very uh, very self-aware, more of a sort of snarky take on the superhero. Yeah, superhero. it is a little bit, which is really different from usual you know, superhero mm -hmm. satire kind of thing. Um, because with the snark, you know, there's, there's people in the world who have superpowers and people that don't. There's also everyone around talks about superheroes. They're a really big deal in the city. You know, they cause damage. They... Um, you know, the city's in debt because the superheroes cause so much damage, so you have to look to the CEOs of the town to actually try to fix it. And 
it's that's just a really interesting concept for it, I guess. You know, mm -hmm. the, everyone's really aware of the superheroes, whereas, you know, like in Superman or Batman or something, it's like, yeah, they're there, but we're going to continue living our lives anyways. Mm -hmm. Not completely aware, but aware enough. Uh, what can you tell us about the creation process of this show? Because I, I know uh, you're, a, you're a college student, so it can't be the highest budget in the world. How do you mesh what you can do with what you want to do? Um, we actually, this... Uh, we started a small production company um, on campus, actually with you. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm part of that. And um, with Josiah David, and we started a uh, Indiegogo, which uh, got 350 out of the 500 dollars that we wanted. So we had a small budget for the first season, which has been very helpful. And um, it's it's really hard being a college student and trying to do this, trying to find time. Some of us work, some of us don't. So it's just, it's a lot to deal with. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. Um, and I, I, I can tell you, I saw, I saw the trailer today, and it definitely, it doesn't look low budget. And that's a, one of the wonderful things about catching up technology. Uh, Rachel, it has been a pleasure talking with you today. I wish you the best of luck with your web series. Thanks so much. Uh, I'm your host, Eric Rooney, and you've been watching Towson Today. Thanks for watching.